The next tool I want to show you in here is the ability to search people or users on Pinterest. So we have this module here. So all you have to do is just enter any search phrase. Um, I'm just going to put fun just for example. And let's go ahead and just click search. And what's exciting about this is I've been, I've been able to find an incredible amount of data that was hidden inside of Pinterest for Pinterest users. So this is quite exciting. Check a look at all this data we get here. We get the number of followers, number of people they're following, the board count, the pin count, the video pin count, how many store pin counts, how many people have sort of interested that pin, pins in their account, or how many, sorry, how many have they been sort of more interested in, um, profile views, and then the profile reach, <clears throat> according to Pinterest, profile reach is the number of profile views within the last 30 days. So that's what that is. And sometimes these are, sometimes this number is smaller than this one. And I'm not sure why Pinterest does that, but anyhow, I just wanted to provide as much data as I could find as possible. So I'm assuming this is the overall profile views in some sort of set amount of time, maybe the lifetime of the profile or maybe a, a year, but this one is 30 days. So the profile reach is probably more important. Um, there's a negative one in there, that's interesting. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, okay, board group count. So there's a lot of um, group boards that are out there, meaning a whole bunch of pinners kind of like share a board and share pins on it. So that's what this is about. The last time they posted the pin, the location, if it's available, their website, the domain, if it's verified or not, if they're a verified merchant, meaning they're selling stuff, and they're about. So that's just awesome amount of data. And what's really cool about this, so let's say you wanna focus on, on researching a particular pinner, like a particular user, you can see all their pin count here. So let's say for this one here, you know, 329,000 pins. What we could do is we can just double click any, just double click that, um, row and it will automatically select over here and highlight for you and then you can right click and analyze the pins for that selected user. Now I'm not going to go and extract 329,000 pins or we'd be here for a long time. I mean imagine doing that even in a web browser. You'd be there forever. So obviously we're not going to do that. But this will extract the latest pins. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract the latest 50 pins and you go analyze and what it does, it automatically goes and pushes it into the pins, browse and scrape section, and just throws it into the um, text box here. And it's using the multi-threaded technology and grabbing all of the data for those pins from that user. Well, not, yeah, for the pins that we want to look at. So now we can sort by number of saves and repins and see which one is getting the most attention for that pinner. Most reactions and all that kind of stuff. Not much action going on here. And we can actually see that some of those are promoted ads. You can see the promoter down here. Ah, sorry, no, they're not promoted. I was looking at different data. Anyhow, and we could do all the normal stuff we do on the other tools, looking at the reports and sorting by repins. And now we see the images if you want to see them bigger and differently than inside the grid. So this is a very powerful tool. And like I mentioned in other videos, I do show another video on how to use the filters, but you can quickly filter all the columns as you'd like to get what you want. So again, this is an absolutely amazing tool. And from what I've found on the internet, I'm not sure if there's any other tool out there that does this. Now you have to keep in mind that this software is not getting this data from some saved database on some person's website. This is all directly from Pinterest live data, meaning this is kind of like a glorified web browser. In, in essence, this is what it is. The entire software is kind of like a glorified web browser. And you're just browsing live data at all times, never getting outdated data just from Pinterest. Now, of course, if you're using the browse and scrape technology and you're browsing Google, Google may have indexed old content from Pinterest from years ago, then yeah, 
that's different. <laughs> but anyhow, what I'm trying to say is this is not coming from database on my website. I don't have this data stored anywhere. It's coming directly from Pinterest. So you're getting fresh, clean data directly from Pinterest. And I don't think there's any other tool on the internet that does this. So pretty awesome. And that's how you use the people search tool.